Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today we are going to be doing a first impression on a brand new launch from Rare Beauty. So I was actually pretty excited, jumped into Sephora yesterday to pick up this new launch. You guys know I've been kind of into Rare Beauty. They come out with really, really good products. So when I saw they were releasing a loose setting powder as well as a stick bronzer, I jumped at it. I decided to go pick it up for you guys. So in today's video, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try them on for the first time, show you guys application, do different methods of application and tell you guys what I think. What are my first impression thoughts? Do I think that this is something worth picking up? That's what we're gonna do today. So if you are new though, hi. Don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe if you have not joined the family. I would love to see you again. And let's go ahead, let's get into it right okay. now. So quickly before we go ahead and zoom in and start applying this and getting into some details, this, I wanna give you guys some prices. So this right here, this is the loose setting powder. It's gonna be called the Always and Optimist Soft Radiant Setting Powder. It does retail for 22 US dollars. It has 0.35 ounces in it and it was actually made in Italy. And the other product we're gonna be trying today is the Rare Beauty. This is the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. It retails for 23 US dollars and it does have in it 0.25 fluid ounces and it is also made in Italy. So now that we've gone over some of the quick little details, let's zoom in. I'll explain to you guys more about how these products are supposed to work. We'll try it on for the first time and we'll see what I think. All right, so we're zoomed in and I'm ready to try the new products from Rare Beauty. So we're gonna start off with the bronzer. I need some bronzer on my skin. Oof. Got my eye makeup on, I have my foundation, but I have no bronzer. So I ended up going with this one. So this one is called Warm Wishes Stick Bronzer Ultra Simple. It comes in really cute packaging, just like Rare Beauties, all of their stuff comes in. And I got it in the color Always Sunny. And I did that because Always Sunny says that it's a rich caramel with neutral undertones, whereas the one before it said light brown with cool undertones. I don't think I like cool undertone bronzers, so I ended up going with this one, but I swatched it and was a little bit afraid. It looked kind of orangey. I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared of this bronzer. So let's see what it says about it. So it is a breakthrough bronzing stick for a quick and visible sun-kissed glow with smooth, seamless, second skin finish. So it's supposed to melt into the skin for a visible sun-kissed warmth that won't fade. It's supposed to be ultra blendable, buildable. It glides on weightless. It's supposed to be non-greasy, water-resistant formula that's not gonna cake. So this is kind of like a typical bronzer stick. So let's go ahead and let's try. I'm gonna try this side with my fingertips. <gasps> I don't know, is that too dark for me? I'm gonna try this side with my fingers. <laughs> Let's see. It doesn't look that bad once you blend it out. It looked a little dark going on, but the only thing with my fingertips, I feel like I'm taking off my makeup a little bit. So I mean like maybe if I didn't have foundation on I wouldn't mind doing it with my fingertips because I do kind of feel like you know I'm probably pulling off my foundation with my fingers. It actually did give me some warmth though, right? Do I look orangey? Not sure if I look a little orangey but let's try it with a sponge on the other side. Let's try the other side with a sponge. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it's so dark when you get it on. Um, so let's blend it with a sponge. I mean, right away, I think I like the sponge so much better. Just because I feel like I'm not picking up my makeup. My finger it almost felt like I was wiping away everything. It's a little bit on the richer side for me, but I definitely like this color more than I like the other color that I saw there. And I think... <laughs> I think she only released like five colors, was it? Five colors? I usually try to put my bronzer like kind of close to the rim of the forehead, like where I would typically get sun. So it's usually like in these areas here. This, what I did right here, is usually not where I put bronzer, but I kind of just feel like my skin needs a little bronze because like when you put on bronzer, usually like with whatever is left over on the brush, I kind of just like tab it all over my face. So I'll probably have to do that with this sponge too. 
That blends out super good though. So this is one side, that's the other side. I like it with the sponge, just because I feel like it blended a lot better. And I also feel like I left more pigment on my skin and I didn't pick up my foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more to the other side with the sponge. I mean, right now, I'm definitely not mad at this. I actually think that it's actually pretty good. It blends really well. It's not making me as bronze as my Charlotte Tilbury one does, but it's definitely giving me a bronze. Like I could see myself really liking this for my no makeup makeup days that I wanna like have a nice sun-kissed look but make it look natural because that does not look cakey at all. Like it looks like I don't have bronzer on. Like it's not adding an extra layer of product to my skin. So that I do really like not cakey whatsoever but I do keep feeling like I want a little bit more bronze I don't know if that's my inner JLo I'm adding a little bit more like the cheekbone area so now I'm just gonna stamp it all over the skin just because I typically would add a little bit of bronze everywhere you know what I mean like with the bronzer brush I usually would just go over everything so whatever's left on the brush I'll put it all over the skin I do feel like I need to put a little bit on the neck just because it is bronzing my skin a little bit more tannish. My neck is always gonna be a little lighter. So I'll bring a little bit down the neck. So there we go. Final bronzed up skin, a little bit down the neck. I mean, I'm not mad at this. I'm definitely not mad at it. At first I was a little hesitant. Didn't really know if I liked that color. I actually wanna compare the color to my bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. Cause now that I'm thinking about it, it kinda reminds me of this color, right? Cause this is a little orangey. So this is my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in tan, which I love. And then this is the Rare Beauty one. It's a little darker, a little richer, but look, when you blend it out to make it more like a powder, it does look like it's almost the same color. So it has a very similar undertone to my favorite Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer, which actually makes me kind of excited because I do like that more sun-kissed bronze look. I don't like that more cool tone bronze look. So this is definitely up my alley. I'm liking it so far. I don't know if I'm going to say I love it, but I'm definitely liking it. I'm going to have to do full face of makeup and try everything out. I'm going to have to do the full face of makeup and try it all on. But right now I'm kind of interested. Um, let's try the next thing. So from Rare Beauty, this is the Always the Optimist um, Powder de Fixé à la croix, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, light medium. So this is the Rare Beauty powder. So it came like this with the little powder. So this is the Always Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder. So it's like a typical setting powder. I ended up getting it in light medium. It's a silky do-it-all talc-free loose setting powder to visibly remove blur and control shine for a soft natural finish that lasts all day long. It's supposed to be light, it's free of parabens, but it's supposed to have a subtle but visible radiance and a natural finish so I'm excited for this I haven't actually had a loose powder in quite some time look how pretty that is so it has this cute little oh yeah I like this cute little thing you push it to the side then you pull off this so look it closes that's really cute it closes like this right so nothing comes out which is cool and then you push it like this and it opens so that's cute I don't know oh it's not the easiest to get stuff out because it is such a small little opening you know so I'm like <laughs> Come on, but I got some powder. Um, I got it, like I said, light medium, and it is a little on the deeper side, but that's good because powders can make you look super ghostly if you get them too white, so this will probably be perfect. It is a little hard to get out. Like, that's just the only thing is like, it's a little difficult because there's only this little hole here to get out the powder. You know, maybe, and do it like this and put it in the cap like most people do you'll have an easier time and not as much product comes out so i would definitely recommend doing that put it in your cap and use it that way that'll be the easiest way to get it done and actually i like this color because it is adding a little bit of color to my skin but it's not looking cakey i'm gonna have to look closely in the mirror but this looks pretty I think it got rid of shine that obviously the stick bronzer is gonna add a little bit more shine to your skin. 
think it got rid of shine, but there is a slight sheen in it. I mean, like visible pores, it definitely is not accentuating the pores. So it's definitely making them look minimized because it's not accentuating them. I don't look like I'm powdery. I think I like this product too. This one actually I might use quite a bit because I do have my favorite um, hourglass powder, but that one is just like a setting powder. This is decent. This will be really cool like when I'm using like cream products that I really wanna set everything down. So I'm actually excited for this one too. That looks kinda cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and top off this with my Rare Beauty blush. Kinda give this a little whirl in the mirror, see how it looks, and I'll be right back with some final thoughts. So here we go, final face of makeup zoomed in, and hmm. I don't know guys, I kind of feel like I like this product. So so I'm looking at my face of makeup right now and I'm going, okay, I can go take some photos outside. Like I feel like it looks good. You know, I like the radiance that it gave. I feel like the bronzer stick was actually a good color, a little bit scared of it, thought it might be a little bit too orange. But at the end, after blending it, I don't think it looks too orange. It might actually be a tad more orange than I like, but I do like the way it looks. It doesn't look bad. I will probably have to bring a little bit more down my neck or maybe use this a little bit more in the summer when I have a deeper tan because it does look like it might be a little bit on the tanner side for me but I do really love bronzers and I like for my bronzers to look bronze <laughs> so that's what I'm kind of really loving about this color so I think I might actually like this thick bronzer I also do feel like it just kind of blended really nice like it blended away almost but I still have pigment because you could still see it but it doesn't look thick it doesn't add like an extra layer of cream to your face it's a very nice formula i'm gonna be very interested if this doesn't break me out if it doesn't add any greases to my skin how long it lasts i will update you guys though with a pinned comment on how long this lasted and if it was still on by the time this video was being finished edited and everything but i think i might actually really like this product so i'm excited for the stick bronzer the colors, not so sure, because I think there's only one, two, three, four, five. There's only five colors. So not so thrilled with the color selection, but we'll see. I mean, everything could work different for everybody, so maybe there is a lot of tones in there for people, but, but I do think it would have been nicer if there was a little bit more variation in colors, but that's just my opinion. Then when it comes to this powder, I'm actually pretty excited with this powder. I think it did do a beautiful radiance to my skin. I do think that it does not look like I put a thick powder on. It doesn't do a veil. I like that it actually has a color to it, the light medium, because it did add a little bit of color to my skin, which it could be too. That is what's making my neck look a little bit lighter. Maybe I should have brought in some of this powder down my neck because it does add a little bit of pigment to the skin. And yeah, that might actually have been it because before before, the bronzer did not look as different but I do think that this is really nice and I do think people are going to like this I like the color of it I did I was actually scared too with this one that it might make me a little bit too pinkish colored I looked at it and it kind of got me a little nervous but when you apply it it does blend really nicely into the skin and I feel like it did go good with my color so I think that these are both really nice products I think this is gonna get a lot of use as the springtime comes around summertime kind of makeup you know if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear that much bronzer you want to stick away from powders so you look a little bit more natural this might be your route and then this product I feel like is going to be universally liked I think people who like to wear thicker makeup might really love this to set down the skin because it does a beautiful veil but then it also has a little bit of radiance in it and also if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear that much makeup but you use a product like this you might want to set it down with this because this does kind of set down the skin and give you more of a mattified feel instead of like that kind of like creamy feel that you feel after you put cream products on this helps to mattify it and I feel like it did after I put this on top I like the feeling on my skin more than before I had the powder but you guys know I have extremely sensitive skin, so let's see how this lasts on my skin or if I have any reactions to it. That will be in an update video, of course, because I have to use this for many, many more times before I tell you guys that information. But for right now, first impression, guys, I like this. I think it's very, very cute, very within the Rare Beauty brand. I think they're staying within concept. I think it's another successful launch from the line, and yeah, they really are really interesting to me. I'm gonna say, Rare Beauty is very interesting brand for me but anyways I hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and if you like this product leave your comments if you don't like the products leave your comments as well so that people can kind of get an idea of what different people have to say about these items but 
I like it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.